Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we are pleased to be bringing you another Game of Thrones whiskey. We have in front of us the Mortlock Distillery. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, so this is the Mortlock 15 year Six Kingdoms. So it's also at 46%. It is the Three Eyed Raven, which is a human who lived among the children of the forest beyond the wall. See the past and the future. And it is a homage to Bran Stark, who is the Three Eyed Raven and granted independence of the North. That's why it's a gold canister. So Mortlock is actually one of my favorite distilleries, my, my first things I really got into scotch with. Uh, it started in uh, 1823 on the side of an illicit distillery called the James Finlanter, which is, of course, it's not owned by Diageo. It's a key component of Johnny Walker. Uh, it was the only distillery in Dufftown, which is called the whiskey capital of the world. There are seven major Scotch distilleries there currently. And until 18, then 1887, Glenfiddich started. And actually, William Grant, who started Glenfiddich, worked at Morlock for 20 years prior to that. Uh, and let's see. So in 1867, George uh, Cowley, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, going with that, uh, was bought it, was the, sole, was the sole owner, and then his brother, Alexander, came in, who was a doctor who had went away to medical school, and he worked in Vienna and in Hong Kong. When, his father, when their father became ill, he came back and started to work at Mortlach and developed the 2.81 times distill. It was apparently some kind of complicated method. I don't really know how to explain it. That could never get to find one to tell us what that meant, but it said some complex way to distill there. But the only ones that do it, um, in 1897, they had a railway car, a railway system added, and they also were the, one of the first those to have electricity added in 1898. So, they, this, so this particular one starts in a sherry cast and is finished in a bourbon cast, which is really odd and interesting for a, a whiskey. Usually it's the Usually, other way around. Right. Yeah. So, but that's the way they did this one, so. And this is an age stated, this is a 15 year old. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful, I mean, it's a beautiful bottle, it's a beautiful canister. I don't know, it's really nice, dark whiskey. It mm -hmm. looks really nice. 40, yeah. You know, 46%, 15 years. It almost matches the canister's yeah. color. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it range from 105 to 150 as okay. far as price goes. So it's got a pretty vast swing on it. But MSRP is 150, but I've seen yeah. as low as 105. So. Well, and for a 15 year old whiskey from Scotland, that's not it's asking not, an no. outrageous amount. Exactly. Is this the only gold Game of Thrones one? Mm hmm. The rest are all white. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. White. This is very malt full yeah, around the nose. Yep. There's oh. definitely the, the butterscotch and the caramels that are in there as well, but this mm -hmm. is malt full. It's really rich smelling. Oily, rich. It's all like Christmas cake. What kind of Christmas cake? I don't know. Christmas cake. You know, like Stoli from Germany. <laughs> all the fruits and the, the, the nuts on top. Fruit cake. It's delicious. Citrus. <clears throat> yeah, definitely citrus. Marzipan, powdered mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. Stewed fruits like pears. Yeah, it's really fruity. Mm -hmm. Apples, peaches. Yeah, tree fruits, uh, peaches, and yeah. apricot. Apple. Yeah. Almost tropical. Almost, Almost. but not quite there. Mm -hmm. It it wants to lean that direction. It's going yeah, towards it, it, papaya, but it's it not. It almost quite. has a mango papaya on it, like. Mm -hmm. But that malty note, this is... It's very malty. It's this very is malty. monkey shoulder kind of maltiness mm -hmm. where it's just that heavy, heavy grain forward. Yeah. It smells beautiful, though. It was actually bought... It was bought in 1923 by Johnny Walker just to use in their blends. That's how much they like this whiskey. Wow. All right. Mmm. 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 Good stuff. That is really good. Malty chocolate pound cake. And the citrus comes forward mm. on the finish oh, yeah. for me. And those fruits in the background, but the malt forward. Mm. Oh, followed by fruit. Yeah, that's what it says. It's yeah. a fruit, Lots of fruit. fruit finish. It's like citrus Lots. in the mid palate and then mm -hmm. the, the rest of the fruit finish in the end. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, more Christmas cake, apples, pears, powdered sugar. Yeah, a lot of your stewed fruits, this is just a fruit bomb. Yeah, it starts off malty, but then becomes quite sweet it, pretty quickly. It's layered on its way back. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got pipe tobacco, mixed nuts, some black cherry. It's got your honey and vanilla. Some pie crust, cake batter. This sucker is really complex. It is really complex. It's really good. It's really good. This is one of the most complex of the Game of Thrones I've tried. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll end up reviewing all the Game of Thrones eventually. We just haven't gotten that far yet. Mm -hmm. But we have them all for review at some point in time. But yeah, like I said, Mortlac is... Was, I can see why Johnny Walker bought this out to use as a base oh, yeah. for a blend. Make, you don't want to run out? Buy the whole damn distillery. What's water do? Oh, it separates oils. Yeah. It, separate oil, it separates oils and elongates the finish a little bit more. Um, the maltiness actually kind of subsides a little bit uh, on the forefront, and you get more of the fruit um, throughout the entire journey of the palate. I think I actually like this better without the drop, but it does change things and separate oils with the drop. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. This is a darn good whiskey. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Mortlock's great stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mortlock's yummy. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment below. And until next time, keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers.